Good morning, everyone. On behalf of our Board of Education, who many are with us this morning, um, we welcome you to not only the ribbon cutting uh, for Louisville, Louisville Lions, um, but also to our back to school press conference. Today is such an exciting day for everyone across our community. It's an exciting day for students. It's an exciting time for, for families and parents. It's an exciting time for our educators. Everybody has been working all summer to make this day a reality for our students. It represents a new beginning of another year of discovery and learning for Winston-Salem Forsyth County Schools. Today is our way forward. That is our theme for this school year. Our theme for this school year for 2021 is our way forward. We are moving toward new heights through a clear and aligned strategic plan that focuses on five main goals. And I want to remind everyone of these goals because this is what we're working toward every day. Improved achievement for every one of our students and closing of any achievement gaps that exist. Equity and access to high quality, rigorous and relevant coursework for all of our students. Strength in family and community engagement efforts. A focus on effective recruitment and hiring and development and retention of our staff because as everyone knows, we are only as effective as the people we have in our schools educating our children every day. And last but not least, the fostering of an inclusive and safe climate and culture throughout the entire district. I heard you mention that in your words about an inclusive culture. Our plan is grounded in our core values. And these are the core values that you can expect to see throughout the system. They're not new, but I do wanna mention them to you. Student-centered, first and foremost, accountability, collaboration, equity, high expectations, and integrity. These core values in our strategic plan are designed to meet the 52,000 students that we are so blessed and honored to serve in our 82 schools every day. Let me put this in context for everyone, just in case you haven't list, heard our facts lately. Our district is the fourth largest district in North Carolina and the 81st largest district in the United States. We have approximately 7,500 employees and that includes 4,200 teachers. We have 150 plus new teachers that are joining us this school year. They're joining the Winston-Salem Forsyth County team. We have 341 school buses traveling 1 million, and I gotta read this one on the paper, 1 million, 515, 257 miles every month using an average of just over 220 million gallons of fuel. That's a lot of buses, a lot of driving. 35,838 students ride buses every day and our buses make 11,900 scheduled stops a day. And I will say thank you for your patience this morning because like in every other district, day one can have some delays. So parents and everyone listening, Thank you for your patience and just your flexibility. Our goal is to get kids to school and get them home safely to you, and that's our main goal today. And our student nutrition department serves 14,000 breakfasts and 28,000 lunches each day in an average school year. It might be more even this year. We have free breakfast and lunch across the board this year. So we're continuing to serve our students. As we enter the 21-22 school year, we have a few initiatives that you're going to be hearing about throughout the year, all designed to move us closer to meeting those goals set forth in our plan. You're gonna hear about 90 by 25. Just so you know what that means, it means 90% of our third graders reading on grade level by 2025. It means 90% of our eighth graders reading proficiently by 2025. And it means, I'm gonna go out of the 90, 90% 90 of our seniors graduating with their cohort by 2025. Yes, we have ambitious goals, but we know that we can get there. We have the skill, the will, and the resources to meet these goals. Outside of that, you're gonna hear about a Reading Warriors program. This is a community volunteer program. So yes, we are having volunteers back in schools this year. It's a community volunteer program to provide additional supports to kind kindergarten and first grade students in some of our targeted schools. You're gonna hear about new textbooks and curricular materials in every school, all of which have been vetted and are highly rated on ed reports 
In many cases, this is the first time in 10 years that these new resources have been in our classrooms to help our students learn the state standards. You're gonna hear about one-to-one -one device program, which you've heard about before. All students in grades three through 12 will be assigned a one-to-one -one device to support their learning. And in K two through two, it's a one-to-two device. The devices will allow for a personalized approach to learning and new Chromebook carrying cases and a life cycle will ensure that our students have these devices to support their learning in their entire, throughout their entire educational journey. And then you're also gonna hear about after school programs, field trips, and so many other things that have been designed this school year to help our students feel successful, not only feel successful, but to help our students be successful this school year. In closing, as we work toward achieving these five goals that we've set, we will continue to focus on the safe and, uh, safety and, and the health of our students. Although more students are present in classrooms this year, we have visitors and volunteers on campus, and we are following some revisions to the um, North Carolina Strong Schools tool Toolkit, which has relaxed certain measures. We are still going to be diligent in our efforts to keep our students safe, which means keeping them in school all year. That is our goal, keep every one of our students in school all year. I wanna thank our families, this entire community, for working together to make sure that happens for our children. Again, self-assessing every day, wearing our masks to school, staying, making good choices you know, outside of school, in school, just helping, this is a community effort to reach the goal of all kids in school every day. That is our plan. We know it can happen thanks to this amazing community in Winston-Salem Forsyth County Schools. Have an amazing 2021 school year and an amazing first day of learning. Thank you so much.